Let me record a quick audio for this translation. Hey there, did you hear about that new Godzilla movie that's coming out? I hear it's really good. Uh, let me translate that into Spanish. And it's super quick too. It takes like two to three seconds for this. So let's take a listen. Oye, ¿has oído hablar de la nueva película de Godzilla que está saliendo? Es muy buena. So that's not bad. And then let's hear it with RVC conversion for my voice. Oye, ¿has oído hablar de la nueva película de Godzilla que está saliendo? Es muy buena. Now that's pretty cool. All right, so Facebook released their Seamless M4T version 2, and this was a single model that they had released a couple months back, and they've just now released one that is able to copy prosody and kind of intonation of the input audio. So I went ahead and tested it out, got it up and running on my system, and that's what I'm going to be going over today. All right, so here we are in the Facebook research. It's funny, they still call them Facebook research when it's meta. Um, and this is their seamless M4T GitHub repository that has all of the stuff on there that talks about their seamless M4T model. Um, so I'm going to go over a little bit of both, but the most recent one that they released is the seamless expressive, and then they updated their seamless M4T version 2 as well so there are some hugging face uh, spaces that you can run this on and a demo so if you go here um, you can see that you can try out the demo and then if you go on to the expressive um, page or Facebook spaces you can see that there's a um, kind of an example page that you can use and try it out yourself but I went ahead and installed it on my system just to see how it runs on local hardware and it's quite good so well saying I do have a 4090, it is pretty good with my GPU. So the advantage of this Facebook model is that the Seamless M4T is just a single model. So it basically is everything packaged up into one. So speech to text, speech to speech, uh, translation, speech recognition, all of that is put into one model without having to split it up. So, and you could read more about it in detail with their paper that they released. I didn't read through all of it. <laughs> it is quite long, um, but yeah, you can go through the table of contents and read the sections that are interesting if that interests you. But I want to jump into the um, code and get the Gradio interface up and running. So we're going to do that real quick. And so the first one I'm going to go over is just the M4TV model, which is not the expressive. And I'll show you what the difference is a little bit later. But this one is the one that allows you to do the speech to text, text to speech, the translation without keeping the, the prosody of the voice. And here's the page that I'm met with. So I can go ahead and do a quick input speech. So let's record something. Hey there, what's up? How are you doing today? So this one isn't going to keep the manner in which I spoke the sample in, but it's just going to translate it into Japanese using their Japanese uh, voice model to output the uh, the audio. So here it is. Konnichiwa, dou desu ka? Kyou wa dou desu ka? Konnichiwa, tachi dou desu ka? So that was actually weird. It added a Tachi in here. Um, so I, I don't know if it read these question marks, but let's try a different language. Um, let's try Spanish here. So translate that. Oye, ¿qué pasa? ¿Cómo estás hoy? And so they claim that there are over 200 languages that this works with, but in the um, interface, there are uh, much less than that. And so this is the speech to speech without actually matching the uh, prosody of my voice. This is speech to text. So this is like how whisper works. So if I record an audio sample, hey there, how's it going? This one will take the source language and translate it into the target language. So this one is done without the uh, speech output. So it's just going to output the text here and text to speech. This is just text to speech. Um, translation so all of these are for translation so like I could do English to some other language here this one's text-to-text -text translation and then this is auto speech recognition so this one is closer to um, this one is the one that's actually closer to whisper so if I have my target language as English I can say hello there and then it, it should translate to whatever language that I say so Hey there, how's it going? So, so yeah, this one will do the translation into uh, from whatever language is being spoken into the target language, which is actually pretty cool because this is real. This is almost in real time. So if you imagine this, this could be like a real time speech translator. Um, 
which if you think about it is pretty revolutionary because uh, you may never need to learn another language and you may just be able to have a device attached to you to speak that language. And this is a cool demo, but let's jump into what I think is the more impressive demo, which is the expressive one. So here we are. This is the expressive model and they claim that this one is the one that um, takes the prosody of your voice, like speech rate, all the pauses and whatnot, and outputs that into the translated text. So let's give it a try. You have you probably already heard what I showed in the beginning, but let's go ahead and try that some more. Spanish is the closest language that I know out of the four that I can choose, which is English, French, German, Spanish. Um, I'm going to use that. So source language, English, and then Spanish. All right, so let's give it a try. Hey there, I'm doing a YouTube video for Facebook's M4T model. If you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe to show me you want more of this content. All right, and then let's translate that into Spanish. So um, this one does have a limitation. So only only first, uh, so the first 10 seconds. And uh, let's run this again because the first generation takes a little bit longer than the second generation. So you can see the speed of it. So the so about 10 seconds of audio takes less than three seconds to translate into Spanish. And so here is the translation. I'm going to play the input first again. And then I'm going to do the translated speech. So let's proceed with that. Bin. Hey there, I'm doing a YouTube video for Facebook's M4T model. If you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe to show me you want more of this content. And now the Spanish. Hola, estoy haciendo un video de YouTube para el modelo 40 de Facebook. Si te gustan este tipo de videos, por favor puedes suscribirte. Muéstrame si quieres más videos. And so that doesn't really sound like me in my opinion. And so what I've been playing around with is now just converting it in RVC. So here we are. I've got my voice loaded. I'm going to go ahead and convert this voice sample and let's retake a listen to it. Hola, estoy haciendo un video de YouTube para el modelo 40 de Facebook. Si te gustan este tipo de videos, por favor puedes suscribirte. Muéstrame si quieres más videos. And I don't know about you, but that sounds much closer to me. Um, and so I was playing around with the idea of uh, pipelining this with RVC just to see how much closer I could get the quality of this output to my voice or to some type of voice. And that would be an easy way to convert it with like RVC. But let's try some other languages. I'm going to do German now and then I'm going to switch it over to French and let's just take a listen to both. Hey, ich mache ein YouTube video für das Facebook Modell 40. Wenn euch diese Videos gefallen, könnt ihr sie bitte abonnieren und mir zeigen, dass ihr mehr Videos wollt. And then let's try French. So the cool, it's just super quick, which is which is so awesome to see. Ben, je fais une vidéo YouTube pour le modèle marrant de Facebook. Si vous aimez ce type de vidéo, s'il vous plaît, je peux vous abonner. Montrez-moi que vous voulez plus de vidéos. So if there are any German, French or Spanish speakers out there, let me know how good that was. And then lastly, let's just go ahead and try it with some video game audio. So I have um, Godfrey from Elden Ring here. Go ahead and translate this into Spanish. And let's see if it maintained the prosody and the speech and the way of speaking. Let's listen to input first. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alrighty, and then output. Asegúrate de que el anillo de Elden está muy cerca. So that's not bad. And if I did have a good high quality RVC voice uh, model of this, I'm pretty sure it could be improved as well. Let's try German. All right, let's run that and get that translated and play this. Seien Sie sicher, der Elden Ring liegt in unmittelbarer Nähe. Okay, so also not bad. Um, and then let's try French. Soyez assuré que la bague d'Elden est à portée de main. So that is super quick, which is super awesome to see. Um, and this, I think, is the first model of this. So more languages will probably come out later and we'll we'll see the output improve over time. So we're getting closer and closer to real time, high quality translation into other languages. And it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out for portable devices, as that is what I would be particularly interested in. So that's going to be it for today's video. Just a quick one going over seamless M4T version two. I thought it was an impressive model from Facebook and I was playing around 
around with it earlier this week, trying to get it all set up in WSL2, which is what I have it running in. So, so yeah, more videos to be planned. Um, I still have to do some things for Style TTS and see if I can get that up and trained, but just been a little bit busy on like stable diffusion stuff. So haven't been able to get that out particularly. So yeah, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And thank you so much to the members of my channel. Really appreciate it. And I will see you all later.